Yo, what's poppin' people? You guys, your boy Jocks, and today we're gonna be doing the last quest for Prish Lost Chapter on Hard Mode. So it's called That Detestable Child Part 9. Um, let's look up at what we're going up against. So we're going up against Ice Bombs, uh, Dark Skeletons, and then we all know Behemoth. And then um, we have Magitek Armors as well. And the boss fight for this quest would be the Chimera Golem. So the way Chimera Golem works is that it does shift changes where it transforms from goat to lion to dragon. Um, well, when it shift changes, the attacks that it will be using differs a bit. But mainly the thing that you need to be concerned about is that the weakness of the boss changes depending on the uh, the shift change so for goat it has a weakness of fire that's why I'm bringing Ifrit for the lion it has a weakness of wind and then for the dragon it has a weakness of um, holy you will be seeing all of those uh, later when we get to the boss okay so for the synergy characters for Prish lost chapter are Prish obviously and then you also have King and Ishitola I will try and finish this quest without using any synergy characters since I don't have any of them built up. But yo, no way I'm leaving Saz out. <laughs> I will also be bringing my trusty Tidus and we'll try to steal the frame buffs of the boss using Baltier. So hope it works out. Um, I will also be bringing, let's see, I'll bring Squall, um, I'll bring Squall and then under the Ifrit summon, uh, he should be dealing a lot of damage. Okay, so uh, with co-ops, the most important part here is for the first wave, for the initial wave, since we have five waves, uh, you need to be conservative with your skills. So since we have um, saws here, saws here um, we should be okay with dealing um, normal attacks. Magic damage is just Okay, let's go a little bit. Let's get the buffs rolling. Second wave! Three skeletons. Um, let's do... Let's do this one. And then... I'm gonna attack this one. Ooh! Good trick. Yeah, so the thing with dark skeletons is they collapse when you break them, so it gives you enough turns to like hit hard. Okay, and we have the behemoth. I can spend a, a few skills here. Buff off. Uh, I'll 
this dude should be at that point. Hey, I'll do one thing. Quick hit. Oh, I think I can do a great thing. Another AP is fine. By the way, um, let's claim this at the goals for this quest. So, yeah, the score is just 50,000 and then, um, play without any KOs, 195 turns and take 19,000. So, it's quite uh, easy, I guess. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, so if you break this one, this is gonna break down. Yeah, it's gonna short circuit. So this is gonna be easy. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're at the boss wave. It's still at uh, wave 44, I think. So the 195 wave requirement is too big. Yeah, and we're just fighting one boss, so. So, yeah. So. Um, as, as you can see, it's the goat head that's glowing, so it, the, that means that it's on the goat shift, and if you can see that it's weak to, uh, to fire. So, it's gonna be good to use your Ifrit summon when it's at the goat shift, so you're gonna deal um, more damage. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whittle down the age with the boss as soon as I can so that it gets its uh, frame buffs on and then I'm gonna scale it using ball here. I'm just gonna aim here. Yeah, that could be good. Uh, just gonna go slap combo. Okay, so I'm gonna summon Squall now. And then... Um, solid Barrel for now. And then I'm gonna buff Squall. Should be good. And then... Yeah, so we should be dealing a lot of damage. Ooh. Easy. Uh, I'm gonna aim. Ooh. Oh crap. Um. Um, ship change after every turn, okay. And then a speed up. Both are frame buffs, so you're not gonna be able to push it out using debuffs. 
So we'll try to steal that one using Vault here later. Yeah, I'm just gonna spam them. any brave points so it's not that much I'm just gonna do uh, attack and then rezo I'm gonna brave attack since it's attack with Sasu oh crap it's me again um yeah I'm just gonna brave attack There you go. Now it changes its um, color to what's that? The, the lion, yeah. So if you can, uh, you're gonna check its weakness. It's already at win. So let's try to um, steal the box. Ooh, there you go. Oh crap, it's gonna attack the ball here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna aim to get the break. Uh, oh, the break. Anyway, we should be able to clear that one out. Um, yeah, we have a lot of turns. I'm gonna use Snatch Shock since yeah, it has a multiplier and it has low turn rate. And there you go. Actually, the, for the uh, three batches of Lost Chapters, I think the first Lost Chapters, the easiest one among the three. So yeah, so we got uh, 37,000 score and we actually have score goals, um, yeah we actually have score goals as target. So let's see the, yeah let's see the, the score goals. Okay so if we're gonna check on events here, um, we're, we have a score goal for um, the Prish quest. We have at 16,000, it's 50 orbs, and then at 20,000, it's 3 draw tickets, and then at 24,000, it's 300 gems. So, so that's the last stage for Prish Lost Chapter, and this is it for this video. I will be doing the rest of the Lost Chapters on another video, so as always, if you like what you see, please leave a like and comment on your own runs, and uh, smash that subscribe button if, you know, that's what you're into. <laughs> This is Jocks and I will see you on the next video. Peace!